building. My name is Elder Rashad Robinson. Let's go to the Lord. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord and let us exalt his name together. The name of the Lord is a strong tower and a righteous run in and they are safe. Father, we thank you. 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 We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, because there's nobody like you. Father, we come today, thank you for everything that you have done and the ways that you have made. We thank you for your grace and mercy. For it was no goodness of our own, but it was your grace and mercy that woke us up this morning. And for that, we say thank you. Father, it was your blood that stained the hand of death, and for that, we say thank you this morning. God, you're good and you're great, and there is nobody like you. God, I ask that you come into the service and let your power move like never before. God, I ask that you let healing go forth in the name of Jesus. God, we bind the spirit of depression. We bind the spirit of heaviness. We bind the spirit of suicide. Father, we ask that victory reign in this house on this morning. God, we ask that you will have your way like never before. God, we come this morning expecting a blessing. We expect a healing. We expect your power in the name of Jesus. There's nobody like you in all the earth. And for this, we say thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for your joy. Thank you for your happiness. Thank you for the blessings that is going to happen on this week. God, we thank you for your word that is going to come forth, God. We thank you for your word that is going to drive out demons this morning in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for your word that is going to set the captives free. God, we thank you for your word that, that is going to bring our anointing that break yokes in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask that you help us to love one another, to be who you are calling us to be. In these last and evil days, in Jesus' name, we pray, amen. So at this time, we'll turn the further service over into our praise team. Let's give them a hand. Praise the Lord, great Emmanuel. How many of you come to lift Jesus up today? Come on, look at the person next to you and say, neighbor, it's time to praise my God. Come on, somebody open up your mouth and give God a shout of praise in this house. Come on.
what we believe. Our belief concerning the Bible. Our belief concerning God. Our belief concerning the church. Our belief concerning sin. Our belief concerning salvation. Our belief concerning Christ. Our belief concerning the Holy Ghost. Our belief concerning sanctification. We believe in the sanctifying power of the Holy Ghost by whose indwelling the Christian is enabled to live a holy and separated life in this present world. Amen. And now into the hands of Elder Carl Ross. Amen. I believe in God this morning. I am Elder Carl Ross, and I'm coming to you with our tithe and our offering. But before I do that, I honor my pastor and my bishop, the greatest pastor and bishop in the world, Bishop J. Drew Shear. Amen. It's a blessing to be in the house of the Lord on this morning. As we know what the Bible says in Malachi 3 and 10, that he will open up the windows and do what? That you still won't have enough room to receive. Well, I need one of those blessings because I don't want to have enough room. I need to have an overabundance of blessings right now. Not in seven days, not in two weeks, but a right now blessing. And if you give your 10% today, if you haven't been a tither, I'm asking all the tithers to stand. This may not be your week, but you're a tither. Those that can stand, I'm going to ask you to stand. If you give your 10% to the ministry, and also let's give 7% of my time. Someone told me, well, I don't know what to do in the ministry. If you don't know what to do, just come and see me or either Elder Jones. We'll, we'll lead you and guide you. Work in the ministry. Put some time in the ministry because it's a blessing to work in the ministry. And that could be your ministry helping another ministry. So put your seventh, your seventh of the time in the ministry and put in your 10% in your tithe and give your offerings. And the Lord will continue to open up the windows of heaven, not just monetarily, but in good health over your children, over your families. All that is a count. And I pray every day, Lord, bless our children as they go to and for school. Look at the shootings that's taking place in schools. So we want to be prayerful in our tithes and our offering as we give. We want the Lord to continue to bless us. Let us pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. We ask you to bless every tither this morning. Bless them, Lord, and continue to open up the windows. Lord, let them know that you haven't forgot us because of our faithfulness and our obedience. We ask you to continue to bless us right now in the name of Jesus. And those that are given our offering, Lord, bless their offerings. Multiply what they're given on today. Lord, I'm asking you to bless everyone under the sound of my voice as we give. In Jesus' name, let's put our hands together and just thank him right now for our blessings in advance. Now, if you will follow the direction of our ushers to my left, you're going to turn to your right. The far aisle will turn to your left. And on this side, you're going to turn to your left and then turn to your right. Let's follow our ushers as they come.
why you come and just be joyful? Every time you turn around, he's blessing you. stand while Evangelist Darden is coming to us with our consecration prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. I'm Evangelist Darden, and I am here to give God the glory this morning and to bring the consecration prayer. So would you stand and pray with me? Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before you this morning to say thank you. Thank you, hallelujah, for what you've already done. Thank you for all the many blessings that you have bestowed upon us. Father God, thank you for being a good, good father. We thank you, God, because you are the present help in a time of trouble. You are our source. God, we look unto you, God, from which cometh thy help. We know that our help cometh from you. So we give you praise and glory and honor as we stand in your presence. We ask in the name of Jesus that you have your way in this service, Father. Have your way in each and every one of us that are here, God. Move on our behalf. Turn things around for our good. Father God, we look unto you in the name of Jesus. You are our source. You're our God, and we call on you today. So we ask in the name of Jesus that you bless every family member that is here. Bless those that are not here. Bless those, Father God, that are in the hospitals. Bless those that are convalescent today. We are praying blessings upon greater Emmanuel, Church of God in Christ. Have your way in this house, God. We pray in the name of Jesus. Miracles, God. Miracles in this house. Miracles in this house that you turn things around for what the enemy meant for bad. Turn it around for our good today. We call on you, most high God. You are our God and our choice, our source, in the name of Jesus. So we thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you're doing. We thank you, God, for the leaders of this house. We are praying today that you continue to bless our leaders, continue to keep them safe and strong. We are praying, God, for your leading and your guidance and your wisdom upon our leaders. God, we pray today that you have your way this morning that you bless the word, that you bless the word. Let it be powerful as a two-edged sword this morning. 
Father God, give us ears to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying, that we can go forth, Father God, being submissive and obedient to your word, not just hearers, but doers of your word. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you glory and honor and praise, and we thank you for your presence, for you said where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So we invite you in, we invite you in to have your way, to hover, to saturate us, God, that miracles will be born in this place today. Salvation, deliverance, healing in this place today. And we give you glory and honor and praise, and we call it so in Jesus' name.
those hands together and let's give God some praise. been good to you, tell him thank you. If the Lord ever made a way for you, tell him thank you. If the Lord ever opened a door for you, tell him thank you. Look over and tell your neighbor, after all I've been through, tell him after all the devil tried to do to me, tell him I still have my joy. You ought to give God some praise. You ought to give him some praise. Praise him. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And the people of the Lord said, Amen. <laughs> 